Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bissasa has visited areas in Labre affected by the oil spill, as we told you earlier. The Prime Minister said the oil spill impacted the lives and livelihood of persons in Labre, and she wanted to see firsthand how the government can help. Karen Kosey Philip reports. The Prime Minister's entourage arrived at Coffee Beach in Labre at around 3.45 p.m. She was met by Petrotrin's CEO Khaled Hassan Ali and Chairman Lindsay Gillett. Energy Minister Kevin Ramnarain, Environment Minister Ganga Singh, Faisabad MP Chandra Sharma and National Security Minister Gary Griffith accompanied the Prime Minister on the tour. They were joined by Labre MP Fitzgerald Jeffrey, who was already in the area. During the Prime Minister's visit, residents were mopping up the oil residue on the shoreline. She said her first concern is the welfare of the affected residents and mitigating ecological damage. Um, so it's bad. But quite frankly, I thought it was much worse than what I've seen. I really thought it was much worse reading the uh, reports in the newspaper and, of course, the comments coming through. I thought it was much worse than what I've seen. Um, I guess maybe it's because some of the cleanup work has already been done from the 18th till today, so much of it has been contained and we'll continue to work on it. Mrs. Basar Bissessa also gave a status report issued by the oil company on the spill that spread as far as Cedrus over the weekend. So I'm advised at Point Coco, 100% complete, John Williams Place, 100% complete, Unity Beach, 90% complete, Granville, 95% complete, Cedrus, 99% complete, Fullerton, 100% complete, Bellevue, 100% are completed. Residents along Coffee Beach have been told not to light their stoves or any flammable devices while fishermen in the area have been grounded since last Tuesday. But the Prime Minister assures that their needs are being met. Petrotrin has been providing meals to residents since the oil spill. The Prime Minister later tweeted that the oil company will offer about $2,000 a day to fishermen who are unable to work. Petrotrin estimates that it will take another week to clean up the entire area. They have employed the services of oil spill response company out of the U.S. to assist with their efforts. Karen Kozia, Philip, Senior.